Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm hanging out in the shop getting ready for the next Pro Circuit event at Lake Pickwick, which is next week. So you see all the content associated with that. Uh, but I'm working on my equipment right now, getting the, the Phoenix all dialed in, getting the camper all packed and the, the truck packed and organized as well. And I was reminded that I wanted to do a video. I kind of wanted to revisit a, a topic that I've already done a short video on. Uh, which is is choosing the right trolling motor battery based on amp hours. Uh, and I kind of did a composition video of a bunch of different booths and products uh, in at the Bassmaster Classic and I touched up on how to, to choose the right amp hour battery for your fishing situation for your trolling motor. And I wanted to kind of rehash that and, and, and give it its own standalone video because I think it is a very, very important topic. Uh, you know, more and more people are moving from uh, from old traditional lead acid batteries and AGM batteries to uh, uh, to lithium batteries. I've been running uh, Battleborn lithiums for about four to five years now. The same exact 100 amp hour uh, 12 volt batteries uh, in both my boat and also in my Lance truck camper, and uh, and they're fantastic. I mean, they've got a ton of different benefits over that older technology, including you know lighter weight overall. You lose at least half the weight. Uh, you've got uh, you know a flat power curve. You've got no maintenance. You just got a more durable uh, battery system. So there's a lot of reasons to switch over to lithium. But when you're making that jump, knowing which battery to choose is also going to be really important. And I, I need to preface all of this by saying that I'm not an expert when it comes to battery technology. I know uh, I know enough and uh, and I have uh, a, a great relationship with Battleborn and they kind of lead me through this this technology, this new frontier. And uh, so I highly suggest that you lean on them as well. So if you have any questions about Battleborn batteries or lithium technology, be sure to, to reach out to Battleborn, uh, their, their crew at Battleborn batteries.com so just want to let you guys know I'm no expert I'm no engineer uh, and so uh, you might need to reach out to them for for more technical questions uh, and before you end up purchasing a battery that would always be a good good idea but anyways let's dive into my perspective on amp hours so amp hours is essentially a, a way to measure how long a battery can provide one amp of power per hour and so this relates to how long a battery can can be used in a day or or you know through several days um, before you're going to lose power. And uh, Battleborn has got a lot of different amp hour rating batteries, uh, but in the core, you know, troll motor, uh, bass boat, you know, use, uh, you're looking at 50, 75, and 100 amp hour batteries. Those are the, the, the different options that you've got with Battleborn batteries. And so the, the 50 and 75 are not batteries that I've had any experience with. Those are platforms I haven't had in my boat before. And so I can't really touch up on, on how long you're gonna be able to, to use those in a, a fishing day and in any situation, but I can make some, some guesses. And from a tournament fisherman's perspective, I always wanna have the best and the highest rating equipment possible to, uh, to be able to handle any situation. So um, first off, let's kind of talk about where I think that, that you could uh, reasonably start looking at the 50 and 75 amp hour rating batteries or even lower than that um, you know versus you know the higher rating like the 100 amp hour um, if you're fishing a, a uh, you know fisheries that are pretty stagnant maybe they're natural lakes you know uh, up north you know around New England and stuff there's a lot of different small ponds and even small reservoirs don't have a lot of current you're not fighting through a bunch of grass uh, you can cover them you know very efficiently in a in in a day's time, those are situations that you're probably going to be able to go to a smaller amp 
hour rating battery. You know, you don't have to have the troll motor on 100% throughout the entire day. And uh, so, and also the situations where you've got a smaller boat platform, you know, whether you're in a kayak or a smaller bass boat or smaller boat in general, and you're just not using the trolling motor near as much, that's when you can go to a smaller amp hour battery. But keep this in mind, for most fishermen who travel around to different types of fisheries, I would highly suggest a, a 100 amp hour battery like the one that I use uh, because we're fishing a lot of different fisheries that have different variables that you need to pay attention to. Number one, uh, if you're fishing around, uh, you know, a, a heavily vegetated uh, lakes, like when I go down to Florida, I'm fishing places like Okeechobee or the Kissimmee chain, and they've got no shortage of big giant grass flats that have submergent grass and also emergent vegetation that I've got to power through with my Motor Guide Tour Pro. And so when you've, when you've got those, those big grassy flats, you don't want a battery that is only going to get you three quarters of the way through the day. I'm not saying that, that a, a lithium battery that's 50 or 75 amp hours isn't going to be able to handle that. I'm just not sure if it will. I know that with my 100 amp hour battery, I know that, that if I forget to plug it in or the breaker flips in the middle of the night, I'm still gonna have plenty of, of battery power for the, you know at least a good portion of the next day without any problem because I, I, I've experienced that before, but I, don't, I can't say the same thing with a 50 or 75. So under perfect conditions, a 50 or 75 probably would do just fine even in you know heavy uh, grass lakes or in current or, or sight fishing like we're gonna talk about in a minute but um, I, you know again that's perfect situation and how often uh, does everything line up perfect uh, in fishing not very often so a lot of times you're gonna you're gonna be met with those situations where the hotel you know uh, uh, plugs uh, end up flipping a breaker uh, there's just too many people hooked up at the same time I've had it happen at my house where my breaker breaker kept on flipping throughout the night and so you've got to you've got to as unlikely or or unpredictable as that may be, it's a factor you still need to think about. Um, so, so grass fishing, I definitely highly suggest the higher amp hour rating. Um, another situation where you're gonna be leaning on that trolling motor real hard and keeping it at 100% or at least close to 100% all day is high current fisheries. Um, you know, we were just recently at the uh, at the St. Lawrence River up in New York. It was crazy how uh, much current there was on that fishery and how much you were fighting it throughout the day. Uh, you know, if you had your, your trolling motor on anchor mode, it almost sounded like it was at 100% the entire time trying to battle that 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 high current and uh, and so in there's a lot of fisheries throughout the the country you know I fish the the TVA a lot of the TVA lakes like Chickamauga Gunnersville and when the water is really really pumping uh, you want to be able to have enough power to to you know power through that that uh, that high current situation uh, throughout a day's time and again have a little bit of reserve power for the next day in case you know something ends up happening um, and then finally, you know, another situation that just pops out at me where a high amp hour rating battery is, is going to be the, the best choice is if you like sight fishing, even if you're on one of those stagnant fisheries, you don't have any wind current, you don't have a, a very strong current, or you don't even have grass. If you like sight fishing, you like keeping your trolling motor on high and, and covering a lot of water, having a high amp hour battery is going to ensure that you can get through the entire day without losing that power, especially with lithium with a flat power curve. Uh, by the end of the day, you're still going to be going strong and staying around that same uh, you know mile per hour range that you you would get in the morning time. So um, sight fishing is another one, but any situation where you have to lean on your trolling motor, keep it at a, a high percentage uh, as far as uh, you know the pedal all day that's when you're going to want to lean towards a 100 amp hour battery or something comparable. So anyways, those are my thoughts on amp hour rating. I think it's a really important rating, but don't cut yourself short 
when you go into to buying a, a lithium battery, get the best one that you possibly can that's gonna fit your boat and your fishing situation. So anyways, uh, make sure that you talk to the, the folks at Battleborn. They're always willing to, to uh, talk you through any of the questions you have, so visit battlebornbatteries.com. And yeah, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, drop a comment below, and I'm gonna see you guys out on the water. Thank you guys for watching.